when we get old, if we don't marry, I know you said you do in Manka, you do want to get married, <laughs> yes, but if we get don't married. get married, if we don't have kids, what happens to us? You can go to uh, the place where they take care of the old people, and you meet your old buddies. That's true. <laughs> and, and, you, and you can make friends, come on, you can make friends and meet Is new people. Is that appealing to you? For me it doesn't appeal because I, I am more family oriented. So I believe my husband will be there. I won't be lonely, first of all. Mm. And I'll, I'll have someone to support me. What if he dies? If he dies, <laughs> I can remarry. Come on. Wow. You can, you can actually remarry. But if he dies, okay, Whoa. that's unfortunate. So you can actually have friends over. If I don't get married, that means that I'm going to have advanced my career very much. Mm. And <laughs> Yeah. And that means I'll have a lot of money. <laughs> so you can handle. I can buy off an island somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I like your thinking. But question, Tina. Mm -hmm. You spend your whole life, when you're more mobile, your body's fit, you're healthy, working. Yeah. And then when you're older, you have all this money, but you have no one to spend it with or on. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you're older, you're mm -hmm. fragile, you can't travel like you used to. That's a good question. What happened then? Because I, my plan B was, if I don't get married, I was mm -hmm. going to open a foundation. Wow. And take care of um, less privileged kids. If I get to open my own foundation, then I'll have a very big family. <laughs> yeah, very to take big. Care of. <laughs> yeah, Huge. So, yeah, so, yeah. That's but that's when, when you have money. You can pursue your career and you don't have a lot of money. No, I'm not Good planning point. that. I wanted to mention something here as well. We're talking about the elderly and one thing that we notice a lot in China and one thing I personally admire about the Chinese is that yeah. the elderly are very active. We always see them in the morning doing Tai Chi. Yeah, we always see them in the morning climbing mountains. They're always yeah. working out. Exactly. This is something we can borrow from the Chinese community. Exactly. The, the, this, the way they exercise. Like, I'm so sure like they're not very good at sports and stuff like that, the competition <laughs> stuff like that. But then they do encourage people to, to keep fit. Exactly. Yeah. Really good point. And, yeah. and this is why they're still very strong when they are very old. But then when you look at like Kenya, for example, mm. like very many old people, they can barely walk. But most of the old people, like uh, maybe in Tanzania, mm -hmm. most of the old people, they work in the plantation. Oh, yeah. So that's part of their See. exercise, actually. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of the bending and all that. So when they get old, they start bending. Mm. Know, that's the problem. But still, they do exercise a lot and they walk kilometers. <laughs> oh, those ones are heroes. <laughs> I know we're all in our 20s now, getting older, but we have a lot of time left. Mm -hmm. As we get older, how do you see yourself forming? Do you see yourself living a more Chinese lifestyle in the sense that we're active, we're participating in our family's lives? How do you see it happening? 